So let's focus on, I, I said we focus on the seven ways to increase profitability. Now, every business has the same model, okay? And the model is that we all have visits from our prospective customers, okay? We all have prospective customers. These are our prospects. We have current customers and we have past customers. There's a percentage of these customers that buy. This is called our conversion rate. So if we can increase the visits of, from our prospects, if we can increase the visits from our current customers, and if we can increase the visits from our past customers, we're gonna increase our profitability. If we can increase the um, percentage of people that are buying, this is our conversion rate, so these people are coming into our business or coming in, um, um, in contact with us in some way, if we increase our total number of, our conversion rate, we're gonna increase our total number of transactions. So Liam, if we take our transactions, we multiply it by our average sale, we get our sales revenue, okay? This is for all businesses. We get our sales revenue. Now, we take our sales revenue, we times it by our gross margin. Now, our gross margin is the difference between what we're selling our cost and service for and what it, selling our, pro, our product or service for and what it costs us. So we all have a gross margin. We figure out what that gross margin percentage is. We times it by our revenue, we get our gross profit. Now, if we subtract our overhead expenses, then we get our net profits. That's how business works, okay? That's the simple business model that every business works under. So how do we double our profits? Well, we need to focus on these areas. So, you know, if our visits from, if we can increase our, our, our prof, you know, and I'm gonna go into this a little bit, a little bit later, but let's run, we're gonna run through right now these areas again that business owners, that, that your listeners need to focus on if they wanna increase their profitability. So first thing we need to do is increase the number of visits from prospects. So who, we need to understand who are our prospects. And this is really about marketing, Liam. So, you know, marketing is changing in the digital age, as we all know, and I'm sure that some of these, the people in your summit are going to be talking about marketing. You know, they're experts in marketing. So, you know, your listeners need to focus on that, but we need to figure out how to attract these people, how to, to, to so really three things. We need to attract them with our marketing. We need to give them a reason to believe in us and we got to give them a call to action. And I'm sure all your marketing people are going to tell you that. Okay. But that's what we need to focus on. We really need to focus on most businesses focus on and getting, trying to get more prospects in, but I encourage my, the people that I'm coaching to really focus on their current customers because these people are already have a relationship with us. If we can figure out how we can go deeper with them and offer them more of our, our, our products or services, we can increase our sales, we can increase our profitability really simply without spending a lot of money, okay? So how can we get our customers to buy more often, okay? So to, under, to do this, we need to understand who are our target markets and who are our current customers. So we need to write down who they are. What are they feeling? You know, are they, you know what are they feeling? Are they stressed? Why are they stressed? Why are they buying from us? Is it because, you know, if we, if we have a retail business, for example, why are they coming in? What is the need? What is the pain that they're feeling? Okay. If we can understand that pain, then we can do something. We, we can understand what they need. We can understand what our products or services are that can fill that need. And then we really need to understand what we're providing. Okay. And that has to be different from our competition. We have to understand what our differentiating factors, what we do better than our competition is. And when we do that, we can get, we can get into the minds of our, our customers and we can really focus on it. 